So this movie reminded me that Mark Wahlberg is actually a half-decent actor. I kind of forgot that after a point. Hello once again watchers of good movies, my name is Nick Pell and this is once again coming from my white room. Now today I'm going to be talking about the film The Gambler starring Mark Wahlberg. So let's talk about it. Mark Wahlberg plays a guy with a gambling addiction. This is something which he does very very well and I really enjoyed his performance in this role. It reminded me that Mark Wahlberg can act really really well when he wants to and this movie really emphasizes it. It's a much more serious movie because it really portrays gambling as an addiction really well and shows kind of what this person struggles with throughout the course of this film. Brie Larson plays love interest. She is a student of Mark Wahlberg's, which I'll get to kind of a little bit later. She does a really nice job in this role. She's very attractive and so it was fun watching her performance on the film and she's actually a kind of interesting character as well. One thing I will say about her though is that I would have liked to see a little bit more of her backstory because they allude to her past and her parents a little bit but we never really get to see that built on at all. I would have kind of liked to see that played on in just a bit, little bit more in the film. And then Michael Kenneth Williams is the other main character. He plays a person who Mark Wahlberg is heavily in debt to and so he was kind of fun to watch on screen as kind of a, a badass mobster. Not really a mobster but a person who's very powerful and has money and who Mark Wahlberg is in debt to. He does a really nice job in the film as well. So as I said before, the movie takes a very close look at gambling as an addiction and what a lot of people end up going through when they're addicted to this form of entertainment. Uh, Mark Wahlberg is originally uh, like a hundred some, two hundred some thousand dollars in debt to a certain individual and he keeps getting money with which he can build on to pay back this person but he keeps gambling it away in order to make more money and you just see this and it it just kind of bugged me in the sense that it's like you have the money that you can use to pay back these people but you keep gambling it away and getting yourself further and further in debt. And the fact that this bugged me I think is a is a good thing that the movie did because it really it really showed this world that Mark Wahlberg's character lives in really, really well, and it shows really accurately what these people go through. It also builds up tension really well, especially towards the end of the film, when you don't really know what's going to happen in regards to a lot of things. It, I also found that it tied in certain characters really well into the the plot of the film. Certain characters are kind of just introduced and played on for a couple of minutes, and then they're brought back into the, the core of the film towards the end of the film, and I really did enjoy seeing that. It's also just kind of a neat story, uh, mainly including Mark Wahlberg's main job as an associate professor of literature. I'm a big fan of literature, so I just enjoyed seeing this part of him. He's a very cool professor at this college, and I would he's someone who I would like to take classes with. He's very real, he's very down to earth, and he's using a lot of his own experience to influence how he perceives works of literature. And I really like that because it gave a fresh, interesting perspective on works that touched on in this film. And this is also where Brie Larson's character is a student of Mark Wahlberg and she is kind of singled out a little bit because Mark Wahlberg believes that she has genius capability in terms of writing and this is kind of also was touched on in terms of who is born with genius, who can do great things, and who is not. And it's kind of an interesting back and forth that goes on with that. One of the real gripes with the movie are just kind of minimal things that I kind of had to think about later on after I watched it. The movie does slow down every so often and that kind of brought me out of the movie a little bit. I checked my watch a few times to see how much longer the film was going. But, I mean, it, it picks up pretty often. It's really easy to stay engaged in the film as a whole. And then the ending, which I won't spoil here, is a little bit cheesy. But it, it wasn't anything that really bugged me too terribly much. I thought it soothed the film as it was. It was a fun ending. It kind of left it open to interpretation. And I, I just really enjoyed it. Those are my thoughts on The Gambler. Definitely check this out if you haven't already. I, it's a really fun movie. I really had a fun time with it. And it was better than I was really expecting it to be. Those are my thoughts. Leave yours in the comments down below. I'd love to hear them. Did you like the movie as much as I did? Did you hate it more than I did? Let me know. Like, favorite, comment, and subscribe. Once again, if you so choose, I'd appreciate it immensely. And as always, my people, my name is Nick Pell. And once again, keep on watching.